Welcome to Harbour IT's VMware vCloud Director demonstration video. In this video, we'll show you basic network setup and how to provision your own servers in the Harbour IT vCloud environment. Um, firstly, we'll just log on to our test environment, uh, which is called test. Once we log in, we'll see that uh, basically nothing has been set up here, so there's no V apps that have been configured. What we need to first do is um, add a SNAP rule so our VMs can uh, get access to the internet. So we're going to our virtual data center, which we've named Test VDC. And uh, once we go in there, uh, we'll have to find out what our public IP address is. To do that, we go to Edge Gateways. We right click on our Edge, which is called Test Edge. And we go to External IP Allocations. So we've got our public IP, which is great. And uh, from there we can add an SNAP rule or rule or a source SNAP. So we've got our Edge Gateway Services. Click on that. Add SNAP. This applies on our internet gateway. We put in a single IP if you like, if you only want one IP. Um, to uh, talk to the internet or you can put a whole range so slash 24 in this in this instance and then we we'll put in our public IP from earlier on so um, if we want we can also add a DHCP pool this is just a quick test environment so the servers that we built we can give them IPs automatically so we put in dot 10 to dot 15 so it allows five servers to get IPs and uh, I'll just show you the firewall, basically the firewall section uh, you can see that there's no rules um, we'll just put uh, to by default allow but you can see um, we can add rules if you want later on down the track we'll just leave it basic, we'll open up the firewall just to allow everything for now for this test and we'll save those changes so it takes time to uh, apply those changes on the edge gateway Now that's done. So we can go and uh, build our first VApp, and in our VApp we'll have our first VM. We'll build the first one from a template. So to do that we go to My Cloud. We click on the little plus symbol. Um, we'll then select the uh, the public catalog. That's where Harbor IT keeps all their templates of VMs and we'll put a Windows Server 2008 R2 64-bit version with Service Pack 1. So we select that, we press Next. We give it a name, we'll just call it uh, VApp1. And um, we'll give it a, the VM name Server 1. We'll leave it on gold storage. Now the computer name of server one will be server one as well. So we have a VM name and a server name. What will be in the guest? It's on our test LAN. You can see that we it's by default it's on static IP pool. That can be changed by ticking that at the bottom, and then we can select DHCP to use our DHCP pool. You can do static IPs and manually put it in there as well if you like, but we'll just use DHCP for ease. Um, press next to this, there's nothing to do in here and review changes and finish so that's going to take some time to build so um, I'll go ahead and pause this video and replay it uh, when that VM is up and, up and running ok so our VM is back, it's off at the moment so what we'll do is um, we, while it's off we'll do some customizations so we're going to properties you can see the server name is server1 and server1 and uh, we can review all the other settings here you can hot add CPUs and memory if you want there's no need to do that now you can do that on the hardware tab if you want for allocations so um, we'll change the RAM to 4 gig we'll leave the uh, disk as it is um, 
and the, the networking as it is and um, the CPU up here, we'll leave it as just one CPU for now. Now guest OS customization, we want to change the SSID and uh, we want to assign an, uh, um, our own password. So when this uh, VM gets built, uh, it will be a password of our choosing and then we can log into that. So we'll just do password123 for now, just something easy. And we'll press OK. Okay, so we'll start our VM. Okay, so we'll open up the console and see what uh, the progress will be. So the great thing about templates is that when you build it, the operating system is already on there. You don't need to mount an ISO and go through the installation steps. It will do it for you. Uh, when you do build it in the first instance, um, there will be settings uh, that are pre-built in a template by Harbor IT. Uh, it's really not usable, um, so we use a customization option that we just set now to add your own custom settings. They'll put um, your network setting as DHCP, so you can grab from the pool. It will uh, change the server name in the guest OS to server one that we chose, and uh, also what it will do is it will set that password that you need. So what will happen is when you boot up, you can't use it until uh, it will automatically um, reboot and run into uh, Microsoft SysPrep. So this is all an automatic process um, which is initiated on the VMware side. So this takes under a minute um, and will only ever do the whole SysPrep motion uh, whenever you make any changes to the VM customization rules. So this is rebooting now automatically. And in a moment, you'll see the customization wizard starting, uh, which will put those settings in that that we requested. And there you go. Now it's booting back into Windows again. So after this, what we'll show you is um, how to build uh, uh, a virtual machine without an operating system. So it's basically mounting an ISO image, um, and uh, to to mount an ISO, we do need to set up a catalog first copy an ISO from a public catalog or you can bring up your own um, and then we can start building. So this is all started now, we can use the password that we had before, this would tell us if it's working or not and yes it is, the customization worked well. system let's see if uh, it has the correct IP address from the DHCP server which would be 192.168.0.10 and yes it is beautiful so that's correct and has all the correct DNS settings and gateways so now we'll see if we can get internet access um, Internet Explorer will have the default lockdown security settings so we'll just get those annoying pop-ups to to begin with, but that can be switched off. I'll, I'll just quickly run through this manually for now. And we'll 
bugles come up in the background so we have internet so that worked fine okay so basically what we'll do now is um, we'll close this window um, get out of this server and we'll build another VM in the same V app um, if you group your VMs into one V app, if you shut down the V app, it will shut down all those VMs in there as well. Um, but uh, keep things nice and neat. So we'll. Um, okay, in this case, we can't choose anything yet. Let's just uh, set up a catalog and copy the ISO because that will take some time to do. So we have some Linux ISOs in our repository. We'll just add a catalog called uh, Test Catalog. Sends on the, the catalog heading. We'll say everyone in the organization has access. We'll put read and write access for everyone. And finish. So that's easy to do. So we'll go into the catalog, uh, public catalog now. So this is Harbor IT's public catalog. We'll choose a Debian um, image and uh, we'll go into media and um, select uh, a 386 version. So we'll just mount DVD1. Where is she? There she is. So we'll right click on this. We'll go copy the catalog. Give uh, the ISO a name. So in the destination, it'll just be called Debian 6.06. .06. And you see, we'll go to test catalog on our test VDC. Press OK. And we can check the progress by going back to our own catalog here. Back into media. And there you have it. So you can copy templates and such um, into your own catalog. You can upload all these sort of things yourself. So you can upload ISOs and um, and templates in there for your own use. And uh, to do that, you just press the little upload button over here. And you just browse to an area on your hard drive, give it a name, and, uh, and just press upload, and you're done. So we'll close that. So that will take some time to copy. So the next step from here is we'll create a, a base VM. We'll just be a shell. There won't be um, any OS on it if we boot it up without the ISO mounted. So we'll then mount this uh, Debian ISO and then you can see the installation start. We won't go through the whole installation. It's a pretty basic setup. Um, but uh, what we'll need to do is go back into my cloud open up our vapp, we can press new vm or add vm um, collect new virtual machine give the name, we'll call it server2 this one for the virtual machine name we'll select uh, a linux operating system and the correct os version you need to keep in mind as well once you finish building this you need to install vmware tools manually the templates f have already um, vmware tools that have been set up by harbor it um, but not if you create ones yourself. So that will leave it with the basic hardware settings and um, we'll just add it to the test LAN with the DHCP again and next and finish. Give it a quick refresh I think. Or will it come up on its own? No, let's refresh. Okay, so let's check if the catalog has finished. Yes, it has. It's stopped. So the upload's complete. We'll right click on the server and go to insert DVD media from catalog. And we'll select the one that we've uploaded. And now we'll power on the VM. It just takes some time sometimes when you power it on before you can actually interact with it. It's still busy. Should be good to go now. And yes, we are. So there you have it, there's the installation for a new operating system. Just simply go through the wizard and when you're done you'll have 
a new Debian OS. Um, so this is basically uh, once the OS is built, you can even mount other ISOs. Depends what you want to upload. You can put in um, your own custom software and um, and have access to that on your own virtual machine in vCloud. So thanks for your time and thank you for watching this video and have a good day.